Hello people, today we're going to be doing a traffic light simulator using React.js, CSS, and HTML for juniors. It's similar to this result that we have here. I8 to say that we want to use Node.js 8. It's a requirement for the Bridcode CLI. And then we can say Bridcode. Let me see if it's installed. Yep, it is. So, breath code start react minus r. That's going to start a new React project with all the hierarchy that a normal, the I suggested hierarchy for a normal React project. Here it is. We have a bunch of folders already. We want to focus on the index.js because that's where our. our Boilerplate begins. Everything is the entry point from Webpack. We're using Webpack here as our technology. This is the entry. It's in index.js. So I'm just going to delete Bootstrap because I don't need it. I do want to have my own index.css. And home, instead of home, we're going to have another one called traffic light. So let's just rename home. Well, let's first do npm install because we want to make sure this. Everything, uh, all of the all of this works. So npm install. Uh, I'll leave Bootstrap there just to have it until we finish installing the project because I want to see the baby. When when you install when you run this project, this boilerplate, it comes with a little baby that says that everything is working. So uh, since I want to see it, I'm gonna leave Bootstrap there, and I'll come back after npm has finished installing because it's gonna take like a minute okay here we are everything is finished with npm we can do now npm run because i'm using cloud9 if you are not using cloud9 and you are using another text editor like uh, visual studio or brackets or anything else you can just do npm install uh, npm run dev server instead of c9 and it's gonna work it's finished bundling it has finished bundling so i can now open my project here and you'll see the baby the baby that we wanted so it's working everything is cool so now what we're going to be doing is starting customizing it i don't want react i don't want bootstrap i'm sorry this is not the one it's this one i'm sorry I don't want React, so I'll delete it. And my home component, it's gonna be traffic like. So traffic. Well, let me just create it from scratch so you guys can see it. I'm gonna delete this component from here instead of just renaming it. In the in the previous videos, I have created the components here in this same file index.js, but in this one I want to separate it into a separate file because I wanna also show that that's possible. So instead of just saying here function, component name, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon, and then return the HTML or class, I'm just going to do it in a different file and I'll have to import this file here. So let's go to a, here to this folder and create a new file. I'm going to call it traffic light.jsx. And then here, Every time you want to do a, co a component, you have to have React, of course, as a library imported into your file. So import React from React. And the second thing you want to do is to actually create the component. So class traffic light extends from React.component. All components that are declared as classes you have to inherit from react component the word from doesn't go there so and the last thing you should do is export it so i'm going to just export defaults i'm exporting it because i want to use it in index so i have to export it from traffic lag.jsx to index.js the second thing every component should have is a render methods of course so render return Dave, hello. 
I'm just going to say hello, just to do it step by step. There it is, it's done, it should work. Now I'm going to say here, import traffic light from, I am in the index.js folder, so I only need to go up one, look, I'm in index. I need to, I don't need to go up, I'm, I just need to go get inside component. So, component slash traffic like. semicolon. Now I'm supposed, I'm able to use this tag here. Let me save and see what happens with uh, with my code. It seems that we have an error. Let's see what's the error. It didn't find traffic light. Let me see if it's that, that JSX. Yep, same, that was the error. We should see a hello world now. And there it is. Hello. Okay, now we have we can close this because we are not going to use index.jsx. Everything is going to be in traffic light or in the style sheet. Since we want to do, I skip. I'm going to skip the part of the HTML because that's something that you can uh, learn on your on another tutorial, not in this one. This is going to be focused on React. So I did three classes here. Let me explain them uh, briefly. I'm just going to put them in index.jsx all the classes. We don't need bootstrap, so you can also remove it. And I have three classes. I have, well, it's not a class, it's an ID called traffic tab, then container, and then light. I'm gonna put it side by side to explain it. Since we have to do uh, the traffic light, let me show you what we have to do. We have to do something like this, right? So that when you, it's a traffic light, and when you click on it, it changes, it glows, the, the light that is being selected glows. So we're gonna separate our exercise in our HTML in two main parts, like this, like where it's, where it's handing, and hanging and and the second part will be the container so traffic top and then the container and then every light is a circle with a border radius of 50 percent a padding of uh, four pixels and then i apply the color the background color of the light here and if it's selected i do the the glow with a box shadow roll of css i'm going to save these and on the HTML, I'm going to grab it also from here because I have it. It's not this one, it is this one. So this is only the HTML of the thing. Let me put it here. And let me remove everything from, from the HTML so we can have it like a plain, simple HTML. So this one's going to be a light, this one's going to be a light as well, we don't need any of this, like all of them are going to, I'm just going to delete them and duplicate this, it's faster that way. And then we can say that this light is red, this light is yellow, and this light is um, green. I save and let's see what we have here. We have our traffic light. This is not working, the the red area because I misspelled it. Okay, save and refresh. Yeah, so here we go. Here we go. We have it's not working yet, but it looks like a traffic light at least. So again, we did the traffic top that it's just a little box here. Then we did the bigger container for the actual traffic lights, that it's the container here, and then we did each light with colors. Each light is the same circle, okay? So now 
we have here's where the fun part comes let me just close this close this and open the console again so we can see live if it's been if we have an error or not okay so this component right now it's not doing anything it's just rendering it's a normal simple component it doesn't even use the state it doesn't make any use of the state but we do have to use the state because since we're gonna be glowing when clicking we have to do two things we have to listen to the click on each of those lights or circles and then we have to apply a new CSS class to them if or not to them to only one of them it's if they are being clicked so for example let me let me show you what we'll do if I inspect here with the elements you will see all the com all the elements and I can just apply selected as a class and you see how it will glow that's what we're gonna be doing with code I can apply them to all of them if I want at the same time but that's not ideal because as you guys may know uh, a traffic light doesn't doesn't have all of them at the same time so I'm gonna up try to apply it only to one of them at a time Traffic light, traffic. So that's all we need to do. We need to apply that class to only one of them. So the first thing I'll do is, of course, start listening to the click. For that, we'll do on click. On click equals our arrow function here that says this dot state because we have to bring on the state. This dot set state. I'm sorry. And let's say that we're gonna name our property current light or selected light selected light or click it click it light equals to red in this particular case because we are on the on click for the red div so uh, now this is basically what I did here is I did a strategy on how to name my property on the on the on the state. That's all, all something you always need to do for every component you do. You have to think about how are you gonna build your state, your component state, because the state is like a local storage that you can use every time you render. It's available available every time you render. So you wanna you wanna make sure you have a, a state that works for you. After you have a strategy on your state, you should you always use the constructor constructor to initialize it. You have to always say super because if not, it's gonna give you an error. And then you can say this state and apply a default state. Default means that when the component renders for the first time and nothing has been touched and no nothing has started happening on the application. It's like on loading time, right after loading time. And of course, we're gonna need click it light to have a value. So let's say that the value is gonna be no. Okay. Then what we have to do is apply the same on click to all of them. Let me say the same thing. I'm just gonna do on click, on click, on click, and I'm gonna cha change yellow and green accordingly. It seems that we have an error. Let me see what's the error. I expect it on slash. Where is the slash? This slash? Ah, yeah. I have a missing curly bracket here. Okay. Now let's just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a console.log every time the, the state renders so you guys can see what's happening. I'm gonna log this.state. And we're going to be able to see it. We're not going to see anything happening. It's not going to glow the light or anything. But we're going to see it on the console. Let me see. Click. So click it light. is red now. Eh? And here it's yellow now. And here it's green. At the beginning, look. At the beginning, it was null. So if I refresh again, you will see how it's going to set it to null. There it is. And then, every time we click, it's we reset the state to the color that was clicked, basically. So that's cool, that's what we want. Now all we need to do is to 
know if we need to apply the, the class selected here or not. For that, we, what we can do is that we could, since we have to append it to the div that it's equal to the light that was clicked. So let's say here, let me declare, I'm gonna make this JavaScript strings so I can concatenate, concatenate on them. I'm just gonna do here plus, quote, quote, and close the JavaScript, plus, quote, 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 quote and close and plus, plus, quote, quote, and close. And then I, I can do here const, let's say red extra stuff. It's like an extra stuff that is gonna be put here on the class name or extra class name, let's say. Class, it's gonna be equal, it's gonna be by default, it's gonna be empty. We don't want any extra stuff on yellow or on green and I'm gonna re concatenate them here depending on on each color that's it now what I'll do is that I'll say okay if this dot state dot uh, click it light it's equal to red this is red, not read. I don't know why I keep I keep doing it wrong. Red. Okay. Then red extra class will be selected. Because that's what we need to apply, right? Select ten. Then we'll do the same for the other two. But for yellow and for green. Let's see, let's see what's happening. I'm gonna save. Apparently we have an issue, so red extra class. Ah, it's a constant. I, I cannot do it as a constant, so let me change it to because we're changing it afterwards. So it needs to be a variable. Okay, no errors. Now let's open here our HTML and let's click on the first one and it says selected but it's I missed the space in between them you see you can look at the what's happening so let me put a space the space that I missed on the concatenation save again and I think it's gonna be done let me see yeah it glows the other one glows and the other one glows perfect so that's it that's all we needed to do uh, centralized state with click it light and then change the state on every click and then depending on the on the current state we can make concatenate the selected to each of these class names depending on the diff.